Hi everyone. I photographed this bumblebee outside of my studio and um, yeah, it's just got to be painted. I'm experimenting with these different um, iridescent watercolour paints. So I thought we'd have a bit of fun and just experiment. So I'm going to use some masking fluid. Actually, let's just give that a little bit of a shake up. It's blue masking fluid. Um, and I'm going to mask off any of the little bits that I would like to keep really white and it would also give me some shape. Now we can always put a little tint of pink or something over those later but to begin with we mask them off and then that will give us lovely definite shapes. Some of these buddlier flowers, it wouldn't be a bad idea just to outline a few petals. And just here and there. On to this one. Now I'm using this little bit of um, sort of foam rubber. Um, very easy way for putting on masking fluid and you don't wreck brushes. He was a lovely creature, he sort of posed for me. I want that shape to show up down there so we can um, and that side too, although that's dark I just don't want to lose it when I put the brush show on. So it doesn't hurt to put a little bit of a line that we can always go over later if we need to. And just down there too. A few of the edges of the flowers. Don't do too much with the flowers. Because they're going to be sort of very loose with the brush show. I think we'll just get that shape in. Because it wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of highlight on that. Just a little bit of light here. give it a little bit of light on that leg. As I said we can always darken this up later if we need to. Right so now we've got to do is just let that dry. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is to wet this with some clear water and a nice big brush. Make sure it's really dry before you do this um, otherwise you'll, you'll wreck your brush with the masking fluid. I think that's probably enough and then I'm going to go into these beautiful metallic paints. So let's start with a blue. And I'm just going to bring that sort of through here. And then I'm going to go for some green. Run a little bit. And I think we'll have some silver as well. Just, just love these effects. Uh, we can maybe put a little bit of pink into that. So there are flowers around here. 
have that in a minute. Oh, let's just dab some of that water in. Let's use a piece of kitchen towel. And whilst that's still very wet, I'm going to drip into it some yellow. These are brush crystals and I just want them to react when they go in there. If that hole's held up a little bit, I've got a sharp knife and I just twist that a little bit. And they just look so nice with the metallic look. Bring that down there. Just wrinkle it outside a little bit. It's got a band of yellow there. Let's make sure that gets covered and around here. I'm going to use a tiny little bit of black on his body, not too much. It's the tiniest bit there. Um, one thing with these crystals is that you have to do less rather than more, but they just look so beautiful. Through here maybe. Let me show through the wings a bit later. And I think we'll also have a little bit of purple. Get sort of sprinkled around some of the edges. just sort of does its own thing. Possibly a bit more yellow here. And then the bits that are on the white paper, we just get a spray, a water spray, and we just do that. And all sorts of beautiful things are happening, as you can see. going to catch the puddles. And we'll leave that to dry. Using a mask away, which you can get from the SAA, I'm just going to take off that masking fluid. Now your dyes and your iridescent medium wash must be dry before we do this. This does help your fingers no end. Just make sure that's all off. Now I'm going to add some iridescent paints to some of these wings so I think we'll go for the blue and just maybe not that dark so I want to create sparkle same on here Keep a little bit of the white if we want to. Also picking up on some of those brush crystals, which is fine. All right, now I'm going to use the darker colour here. And hopefully it will mix a little bit with the black. And that will give us some shape. Let's do this bit here first. Yeah, that's good. And his little nose. And by putting that masking fluid on, you see, we can have a little bit of a highlight if we want to, but it also helps us to see where we're going with that. That comes like that. Um, and then I don't want 
the loose some of these lovely shapes I'm going to be very very careful how much dark I actually put into there I think maybe along the wings would be good but not covering it all but along like that we'll get a bit of that shape here I'll just make up a bit there some legs that we'll think about in a minute. Yeah, I quite like that. I can always go in later if I need to. And that's a little bit of his bottom so it shows up. And Now is that enough of the shape to make sense of him? I think it probably is. I'm going to soften that dark line here just with some clear water. All right, I think his legs now, so we'll use the same dark that sort of comes from there. Mm, this is iridescent. disappear off the page and um, we should have another one here it's difficult to see but we'll just pop it in that just makes sense of that I think a few little dark bits on the wings, maybe, before we ink it. Oh, I'm looking at these flowers that we've sort of masked out here. Um, and I'm thinking that it's probably better to leave that alone and not do anything with that. We've got a few shapes, but I think that could make start to make it look a little bit cluttered. And um, we don't want to do that. Mm, I'm just sort of sussing it out. I'm just going to use some quink ink. I think this one is black and I quite like to use a bamboo pen because it's got quite a soft edge. Just one of these and I'm just going to get some of the shape, the darker shapes that are in. There we go, just go down line to there. Hurt to put a little bit of movement around there. Comes out like that. And sort of a honeycomb shape here. It's quite light, so it doesn't have to be too dark at ink. So it comes up there. And then what I'm going to do is just with some clear water on a brush, I'm just going to soften some of these out a little bit. It just sort of gives it that effect. Well, that's one wing and now on to the next one. I've started there so I don't drag my hand across it as I do these. So 
a nice definite dark line on that bit. Don't have to outline all of that one. But we'll soften that as well in a minute. I just love these veins. It's just amazing what you can capture on a phone. Right, I'll we'll just soften that as well. Want it too dark, just add more water as you pull that out. Just sort of pull that around there, that give it a nice edging. In fact, we do that there too. Get some of that dark. And that shows it up really nicely. And I think there's a bit of a dark there that we can just pull out. Shape through there. So that's looking quite nice. Now we can get a sort of feathery edge, I think. If we don't like it, we can soften it. But it's quite fluffy being. I'm going to sort of feather that in and out. It's a bit more definition on this leg. one. You were so unaware that I was photographing him. Oh, we've also put in a leg that we couldn't see. Just to make it more interesting, right, the clear water again. Maybe we can just sort of tease that so that's just a little bit darker. I think the eyes could be a little bit more definition, so back into that. Just a little bit of edging here. And there we go. So that's lovely and dark. Pull that. Slide. Um, I would say we best leave alone because you can always do too much. And I hope that you've really enjoyed watching this and having a play with different mediums. Thank you for watching. <laughs>